Welcome to your Darling Sports Show, Daily Trust Sports. My name is Joshua Demi, and with me to talk sport this evening is Jide Olushola. You're welcome. Good to be here again. Yeah. So today we'll be looking at the uh, final list of the Super Eagles for the 2019 uh, uh, African Cup of Nations in Egypt, which is starting on 21st of this month. Also, we'll talk about the Super Falcons who are campaigning uh, in France in the FIFA World Cup. Uh, and they had their second match today against um, uh, South Korea. We also talk about the uh, NPFL Super Six taking place in Lagos today. Today is the final matches and a champion will match today. Also, if we see after, we'll peep into the transfer market to see how Nigerian players are doing, who is moving, and where they are moving to. Uh, to start the show today, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria just renamed the national stadium. Uh, in Abuja, MQ Abiola Stadium. Uh, what's your take about that? As a part of the celebration for the Maiden Democracy Day, June 12th. Uh, it's a lofty idea for the president to have named the Abuja National Stadium after they revered the acclaimed uh, June 12th presidential election winner, Chief Moshud Kashimawo Olawale Abiola. It's a good move by the president, and uh, he has tried to solidify the fact that MK Abiola is a rightful, or rather was a rightful winner of the elections then, and uh, to continue to imprint his name in the Nigerian history. He has a stadium named after him in uh, Abekuta, I guess, yes, Abekuta. Yes, he has uh, a, polytechnic, a polytechnic name after him, but those are the state level. But now it's good that they are now making it at a national level by naming, by naming uh, an edifice after the... Uh, after, well, it will take time for the name to stick, right? Yes, yeah, everybody still uses that. Uh, I, I'm going to National Stadium. Yeah. National Stadium. Now, maybe over time, then I say I'm going to uh, MQ Stadium. Okay, so uh, let's move straight to the Super Eagles list ahead of the uh, uh, Afcon uh, Championship in Egypt. Uh, the, the the technical team of the Super Eagles released the list over the weekend, over the week, within the week, right? And um, uh, two names. One, one a prominent name was dropped. But first, let's, let, me tell, let me list out the names. We have Francis Ozo, uh, one of the keepers. We have Ikechiko uh, Ezenwa. We have Daniel Ikei. The defenders, we have Ololuwa. Olaoluwa, I know. We have Abdullahi We have Ch Chidoze Awazim. We have William Ekon. We have Leon Balogun. Kenneth Omero. Jamil, Jamilu Collins. The midfield. In, uh, the midfielders are Mikel Obi, Wilfred Ndidi, Ogane Karo, Etebo, John Ogu. While uh, the forwards are Ahmed Musa, Vic, uh, Victor Sime, Moses Simon, Erin Oyekuru, Odion Igalo, Alexandra uh, Iwobi, uh, Paul Onuachu, uh, Samuel Chukweze, and um, uh, that is all. Where the, 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 that, those are the names that are made up, made up the team. But uh, prominent among those dropped. Is a killer Leicester City forward, killer Che in a chore. And no, most people are saying, well, oh no, I me mean, as one of them, seeing killer Che in a chore as one of the uh, future stars of Nigeria who will stay in the national team for a very long time and make impact. But for him to be dropped based on form, of course, the coach, the head coach has said he's going to play, uh, pick his players based on form. Uh, uh, so many people have, uh, uh, have been kicking against the, 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 the decision to drop uh, in a chore. Uh, while some uh, deem the coach action as uh, the right thing to do at this particular moment when we have all the options up front. Uh, what is no, your take? You know, it's, it's, it's the right uh, move by the coach. Yeah, the total have dropped uh, Kelechi Anacho. Kelechi Anacho has been off form. He has not really performed to the expected talent, I mean, the expected way that all names he should have. Uh, I think his downfall began from when he could have made this team if probably has scored that goal against, uh, against uh, Man City in, the final uh, in uh, Premier League yeah. Yeah. For Ma against Man City where he was almost only him and the goalkeeper but then he bluffed his lines uh, and again for his club he doesn't even play week in, week out, week, out. week, in, week out. Uh, the competition and is right and he comes in probably set, eight ten, minutes ten minute after something. not playing for four games or five games so he was so he was uh, he, he, he was already losing his space. If he, has lost his, he has lost his place in the in his club, and he was almost losing his place in the in the national team. And if you look at it, uh, Olis Kalin, 
Kelly Kianacho does not, I, personally, I don't, I don't even know his role in the national team, whether he's an attacking midfielder or whether he's a supporting striker or is a striker. And the fact is that Kelly Kianacho can play anywhere al along the front line. I think he's, that's where, he's not, that's where he's not lost. He, he has lost his identity. Now, what can he do? No, the, I believe, of course, that Kelly Kianacho has has uh, lost pace, uh, he's, uh, he's no, he's no, he's has lost his confidence, but I think he's the, he's the function of the technical, uh, technical team to bring him back to his form, to bring him back to his pace. Most players who are, who are finding difficult to play in their teams have used their national team to come back to reckoning. Okay, so, a, a, a proverb says that you can, you can force it also to deliver to drink. Hmm. You can force it also to deliver, but you cannot force it to drink. So the technical crew have tried to make him understand this is what I'm supposed to do, and he's not doing it. It's like, that's, that's his own problem. Okay, now looking at the other options we have up front, I wouldn't know if there's any player that you think shouldn't have been there in place of Kelly all, Kelly all the players mentioned taking to... That being taken Ahmed to, Musa? No, that... Who's no, playing in Saudi Arabia? If, let, him, let him be playing in the third, third league. Musa is one of, one of, one of our best uh, players right now. King Musa. Oh, President, sorry, President Musa. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, a, he's, he's one of our best players, so we can't, we can't joke with him. So what about and the new guys, uh, Polo Onu, Onu Onu Achu, and uh, Samuel Kalu? Yeah, Samuel Kalu has been, he has been in stage for a while. And even, uh, and thank God for Chukweze, who's, uh, who's season in the Villarreal has really exposed him to, uh, to the world. Mm. And uh, it's expected that, thank God he didn't go for the Under-17 World Cup. Probably his name will be messed up. But uh, we expect... You know, sorry, on that 20 World Cup. But now we expect that now, now that he's going for the Nations Cup, that he's going to bring on his A game that he performed in La Liga and produce that, that same form for us in Egypt. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is, it, 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 it most likely we start matches or I don't know the formation in general, play, but I look, I'm looking at the 4 3 formation. Okay, now looking at the midfield, that midfield seems to be where we have less less uh, problems um, no no less problems uh, opportunity uh, player options you know we we seems to lack the uh, the player with flair with attacking flair in that midfield we are when you look at our midfield options we see Michael Obi who played a kind of a um, 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 like a, 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 a no against the Zimbabwe the Zimbabweans uh, um, it was more, more like the only midfielder even though he was one, he was one dictating the pace from the uh, midfield all through. Like so it seems, was, it seems was, he was, was playing was, as the attacking midfielder we have. You know, naturally, Mikel has been, has been an attacking midfielder before he was somehow converted, converted to, to a defensive midfielder. And now in Nigerian, in the Nigerian Super Eagles, now he plays more, more like an old midfielder. He stays behind and comes forward depending on the kind of uh, player he's with. Okay. So now if he's playing with someone like, uh, on, let's say when he plays with someone like Onazi, he stays backwards. Now, wow. something like he did it now, who is a natural... A natural uh, 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 for, yeah. So, probably Mikel can now go forward a little bit and distribute the passes like Alonso does. Don't look for spaces around to distribute passes. I think Amifid is... Uh, Amikel is someone that can slow a fast game down. Down. Of course, the Mik Mikel, some, those, some people are saying the Mikel shouldn't have come back into the team. It's but it's a, if you look at the uh, friendly match we played, his experience came into play and he was, such, uh, he was uh, actually skimming from the midfield for the team. Or no, the this team is actually very good in the sense that we have a useful team laced with an experienced team. Uh, mixed. Yes, mixed. So we have young players. And we have people like Mikel, who is a, who's an old player, who has been, who has been in the national team for most like 12 years or thereabouts. Uh, we have uh, Ahmed Musa as well, so, who is also an experienced player. We have Indidi, who is still young, but also, uh, also experienced. So we have uh, Leon Balogun, who is, is an experienced player as well, too. So we have a lo lot of experienced uh, players. Uh, players. And we have lots of young players like Chukweze, yeah. like uh, Onachu. Like, uh, who are, are fairly young players. Okay, who, who now when you look at the, the, the defense where uh, Semi Ajayi, despite having a very good uh, season, couldn't have a place, uh, uh, would you say his lack of experience or his young age counted against him? Semi Ajayi still has a future in the Super Eagles over the, over the, over the time. It's time to come. Let's let just put it that way. It's time to come that he's going to have a starting shirt. Uh, I think uh, Gennaroy did not just want to come and waste his time in uh, in Russia, in, sorry, in uh, Egypt. Where, but if you look at it, who is he going to drop for Semi Ajayi? 
in the difference? Practically, there is, uh, is it is it low by low good that it will drop? So okay. it so it, it just indebted to just uh, sacrifice semi agile for for yeah 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 future yeah okay future let's quickly look at the comments from our viewers. Um, KC SK Junior say uh, perfectly right. His performance has dis uh, diminished drastically. No, that the, one is uh, Ian that, Yes, Ian Achor, that he it was dropping. I think, I think right. Ian Achor's problem is that since the d time he decided to move to Man City, uh, based on the kind of uh, financial inc incentives they're going to offer him, I think that at that young age, the money was co that was coming to his pocket probably made him feel... But actually, when he was in Man City, he was playing well. Each time he come, he, he, he came up. He was he was always uh, uh, I mean, banging uh, in the goals or making assists. Initially, as, initially, as no, then. that season before he was chipped out the next season because he was not getting the, he was not getting the, get getting the game. When Gadela came on board, he shipped him out because he was not up to Gadela standard. But that first for, for, season, for, so for, for him not to be good. For that right? first season, for that se first season that Gadela came. He played well. You Each time he was called on. season that Gadula came, how many people did he sell out? Very few players. Of course, Gadula well, normally like bringing in his own players. It's a player so that means for, for him to have shipped out here and actually, that means he was not up to standard. And, and I raised Gadula very, very high. He's, he demands a lot from his no. players. No, Enacho wanted, 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 wanted too lazy. No, Enacho wanted game time. But prove whereas, me. whereas Gadula had um, uh, um, uh, Jesus. Gabriel Jesus, who he just brought in, mm -hmm. with uh, Sancho Aguero, who are competing for the... And he, he uses he use just one at uh, one striker at a time. So, of course, his chances will be very slim. Okay, he went to, the, went to Leicester City for playing time. But then, did he perform for them to put him as their top striker or to start a game? Okay, let's quickly look at other, he, other, he, other he comments. He, he, he Abdullah Umar Mohamed says it's a very good decision. He was a lazy player. Mm -hmm. That was then, good. Suleiman Gold is to is saying it's, it's a very good decision for him to be dropped. Olua, Olua Toki Ade, he says it was a very, it's a very good decision as well. So please, our um, viewers, want you to keep the comments coming. I will join the conversation on our Facebook page and we will read your comments out now. Now let's look at um, the Super Falcons. They are, they are competing presently at the on the, uh, the FIFA World Cup in France. They, this afternoon, they tackled uh, South Korea, and they, uh, unfortunately enough for them, they were able to get, get a two-goal victory uh, plus three points in a very difficult uh, group. Uh, it's good news. I wish that we started with uh, South Korea first before meeting Norway. It was always good to win our first match. But look, anyway, let's get to the girls, or to the, yeah, to the girls that they're able to come back from a three-goal defeat against Norway. And to defeat uh, South Korea by two goals, by by two goals, uh, first goal was uh, by uh, own goal scored by uh, a South Korean uh, player, and we are almost at the point of be, of the goal being yanked off. Being yanked off because Obano uh, 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 seems uh, to have uh, uh, the ball. It was a very very slight, very close call. But thank God for VR, uh, VR. that said, you know, the the goal could go on, and uh, Oshola came came on board finally, even though she could have scored a brace. But then the second ball that she has scored was she played the ball too much. But the goal she scored is technical, or rather was technical, because it was very difficult for her to come to score that kind of goal at the edge of the... No, uh, I, I think that brought, that brought into play uh, Oshola's uh, uh, experience over the years. He has, yeah. he, has played, he, has played, he has played for Liverpool, he has played for Arsenal, Arsenal he has played in China, China and now he's playing for Barcelona. Barcelona. You see, he got, she got the ball, held, uh, uh, held up um, the defender, to, 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 the round the keep, to round the keeper and slot it in from a very tight, tight angle, angle. Was, you know? That was a very, very... And if, in fact, the way the ball rolled, she, she made it roll, she made the ball go... The way, the way, the way she, she, she actually... You know, in, 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 in the Nigerian pilots, we say, she sent the, she <laughs> sent the ball a message, you know? I know. Oh, 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 <laughs> well, yes. So, <laughs> she, the way she rolled the ball in was very, very technical and uh, right at the edge of the post, I mean, of the goal post. So, we, that's the Oshola we know. Okay, now looking at the team. Even though she was absent in the first match. In the first match. Looking at the team, well, this in, the, in their second match today, uh, compared with what, what uh, the, the team looked like in their first match, will you say the team is, imp uh, is improving and uh, they could as well get a result against France in their last match? Yes, yes, yes. They are improving. They are improving. 
the no, the no match was a disaster, maybe because uh, they're still not yet in the mood of the World Cup uh, mood, and probably uh, they realized that they were going to, if they lose this match, they are practically out of the competition. And uh, Opera Nozi, our captain, you know, the first match she had a very yellow uh, yellow card at, at the very early stage of the match, so probably that one deemed uh, performances afraid to go out and, and uh, commit herself unnecessarily and uh, to avoid a yellow card and be suspended. And uh, the coach saw that he moved, took her out of the game later on. We saw she, she, had, she had a better game this time around. Rita Chikelu was also on point this time around. She, she came out to her and she was very, very, very aggressive against the South Koreans. And uh, of course, our, our best player so far, uh, uh, Francisca Odega. Odega. She, she did. Has she, been, she, she, has been been running, she has been running around, covering all the pitch. But I wish uh, that they brought in Ajibari to replace uh, uh, Aparanozi. Uh, I think Ajibari will be more of a better supporting striker to Oshuala. Now, uh, Oshuala is actually not leading the line. Yeah, it's uh, Aparanozi that. Yeah, but and if, I, if I, I understand why the Navy left Aparanozi to the end of the game. We are playing. Uh, uh, the Falcons played against a very short. Uh, 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 and Ajibari is short as well. Too, so yeah, so I guess we should be able to use uh, the advantage of. Uh, uh, but uh, then, if, if, of, uh, if they bring in Ajibari, the no, she can still bring Ajibari. Oh, sorry, he can bring Ajibade in. They yeah, push uh, Oshola to, 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 to strike. Then Ajibade cannot be behind uh, Oshola. Okay. But because she, that girl, she's very, very skillful. She knows how to control the ball around. And in, in, in case of now, maybe probably uh, Oshola can get the ball, edit down for Ajibade, who can, oh. who can run players and, you know, find I'll a way to it. pass the ball to. Mm -hmm. You know, they can walk around easily. Open Jose, though she performed better today, but there's still that. Uh, she still lacks that cutting edge. Okay. Maybe now, she maybe she get better. Against, now looking uh, at the group, uh, France. France will be playing um, Norway yeah. later today, mm. and um, of course maybe the match will even have started. Like yeah. Then um, we, uh, the way the, the the group is now, there's is, there's still hope for the Falcons to get through, even as one of the best losers, mm. and that will depend on how they play against France. France and uh, the game against France and. and uh, Unfortunately, now we are at a stage where we are not doing permutation again. As but, uh, usual. As usual, as Nigerians. <laughs> but uh, uh, we will be, okay, the France Novi match will be by 8 o'clock. So, so uh, that's later in the night. So uh, we will not know our fate. But uh, give, uh, let's say France did not defeat uh, Norway. We have a better chance of, of topping the group as second if we can host France in our, uh, if we can hold France down. Uh, are you seeing the probability of South Korea beating Norway. No. Anything, 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 could, anything could happen, you know. But, but all the same, uh, we can still qualify f as one of the best, one of the best uh, losers. Best losers. Okay. So sad. So now let's come back to the league, to the uh, to the home front, where uh, the top teams in the league are squaring it up in Lagos. Uh, um, the at, at the moment now, the match between Enugu Grangers and Ife has ended ended four two. In favor of Rangers. In, in favor of Rangers. So Rangers, uh, though they are, they are third on the post, on the log right now, but their fate right now is not in their hands. Well, let's quickly look at other fixtures. Can you just read the other fixtures? The, the other, other fixtures we have is Aimba versus Aqua United that will be starting, in fact, in the next two minutes mm. by 5 o'clock. And the other match is uh, Lobby Stars versus uh, Canopillas by 7 uh, p.m. Yeah. Uh, I would have, we would have loved to see a final match, but this is the last series of this playoff where all the matches we play simultaneously, simultaneously. so that there will be more competition by, from the players, from the teams. Now, looking at the, at the standings now, where um, following Enugu Regal's uh, victory over Ifa Yumba, they are on third position with, uh, with eight points. While well, Aimba still topped the table with uh, nine with points, nine points. Canopy last with eight points, Aqua with six points, and uh, Aqua United can still win this playoff, even though they're on six points. That's if they defeat, uh, uh, if they defeat uh, Aimba, but which is uh, is going to be a tough call, a tough call. because Aimba wants to win this league at all costs as champions. So yeah, qualify for. Yes. The Champions League. So it's, it's still an open end for Aimba, Canopy Last, Enugu Rangers, and Aqua United. Enugu Rangers 
faith has been decided already now. They need around eight points. They cannot go below and they cannot go, go higher than that. So the, their future now, their, their, their faith now depends on the performances Between of every other Between Ayimba and Aqua United. Which then Canopillars and... Uh, Canopillars and, and uh, Lobbystars. Um, Canopillars, we want to uh, also win the league. Now, let's, lo let's look at what happened in the last round of games. Okay. Now, between Canopillas Canopillas and, and, uh, and the Rangers. Now, reports reaching on is that now they've been, they've been banned. LMC has banned the uh, captain of Canopillas. For 12 matches. Yes, Rabiu Ali, for leading the protest against the referee. Yeah, and the team has been fined uh, 8 million mm -hmm. era. Yes. And, uh, it's, uh, and the Canopillas are thinking of appealing. They have the right to appeal anyway. So now let's forget about the the, the uh, sanctions. Let's talk, let's talk about what actually happened that day. The fault lies solely on the Lagos FA right now. They have to they have to provide security for matches. It's not now LMC has they have the role to play, but Lagos FA have they failed to get enough security to man their gate or to man the stewards to control these fans. That's one part. Then I see that our fans, the Nigerian fans, we get too angry easily when our, uh, when our beloved teams are losing, that we begin to destroy, run to the pitch, take over everything. But before sticks. then, what actually happened? What was, what was the fault of the central referee? The referee had no fault to, to me personally. Okay, the, penalty was, the penalty was on point. Just that like, like it came too late. It came mm -hmm. at towards, towards the end of the match. Yeah, the stoppage of the this, match. And mm -hmm. it, the, I think the, the referee gave five minutes extra time or six minutes extra time after the normal 90 minutes. And when it was exactly six minutes, he stopped the match. Stopped the match. But in between the six minutes, the, a player was mm -hmm. down for like some, some minutes, which is time as time wasting. But he had already given out six minutes of extra time. He felt there was no point for him to add more. Add more. Only, so for that, the, only, only for the. Uh, but what was the difference? Just, I mean, just 30, 30 seconds difference that uh, Rabbi, uh, Rabbi Ali had to start charging at the referee, which is, which is a crime on his own. If it's the, the Ronaldo, the match against the Barcelona that when, uh, when Ronaldo was in Madrid, that he pushed the referee. He was banned yeah. for three, I think for three matches. Yeah, matches. You can't touch a referee. His action now led to fans entering to the pitch because he was charging at the referee. And pelting, they had to bond to the referee, the referee out, out, of, the out of the stadium. I think that is, that is the ugly situation that one will likely see uh, in every match uh, venue in Nigeria in the, in the league, you know. And uh, it was so embarrassing that despite all the bans that LNT have tried to impose, it happened in Plate United, it happened in uh, Remo Stars, they all had crowd violence. This we, sh we should go beyond. We are not Mexicans. We are not uh, South Americans. We are Nigerians. We should be more civilized. Okay, let's say for example in, in, in EPO now, when uh, Man City beat Chelsea six zero, so they're about. Would why didn't Chelsea first enter the pitch and start and, 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 and beat uh, the Gardner or, or <laughs> anything? We have seen. And you know, you know, there's this complaint that Nigerians don't go to watch matches. How do you go to a, a, a stadium with your family and? You see fans throwing pelts, throwing sticks and stones. No security, you'd be scared to so go. Why will you? You don't want to go there yourself. When, as a reporter, self, when you're there, you'll be scared that they can even come and destroy the media, media center. Uh, yeah. That we are reporting here. Yeah, why, why are we covering? You know, okay, no let's go back to the, let's go back so to the table. The FA has to come in and yes, let's go back to the table. And um, if, if uh, Canopillar had won that match, of course, they will, they will be on uh, 10 points presently and could probably... I've cleared the doubt. Uh, yes, no, a, yes. No, no, nobody can come and challenge them. Yeah. So all the all, Imba, Canopillas, and, and uh, Alpha United are still in the position yeah, to, to win, win the champion, to win the league. So who are you rooting for? Uh, based I'm, on their I'm, performances I'm, so far, I'm rooting for Imba. Okay. To win the uh, playoff. Okay, of course too. I I see Imba as a yeah. better team. Better coordinated. Can you class adjust? They just destroy their. their is this how they're going to behave in, uh, in, 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 the in, continental. in the continental football? So I, I say, Imba are going ahead to win the to win the league, and uh, it's, it's been a while they won the league. I think yeah, the league. it's been like five years or yes, so. There about. So it's be good for them to come back and and, and feel that championship uh, 
Toga once again. Okay. And they are so far so good. They are the most successful Nigerian club in the continental. So far. Yes, yeah, so far. Okay, let's quickly take more more comments from our viewers. Um, we have uh, Nigel Jong. Is it is it a collection that has never been good enough for a Nigerian shirt? <laughs> that's no, right. That, that, that was, that, he, he has been good. He, he, he has been a very good player. He's just getting lazy. That's just it. He's not putting up. He's not putting that extra effort. If players like Messi at their age and at his level, mm -hmm. he's still putting extra effort. If Ronaldo at his level, that he has everything, has won everything he needs to win, but he's still putting extra effort to be the best. Who is the and not to put not in the best? Not to best. Then, okay, uh, and how much money does he have? That he's, he's feeling, he's feeling like a don. It's like a don. You know? <laughs> so now Khalid, Khalid Mukta says uh, the coach was very right to to ask uh, no, uh, a yeah. natural. So let's quickly, since we still have time, yeah, our viewers will still encourage you to join the conversation and make your comments. Uh, we'll read them before we leave. Now let's quickly zoom to the transfer market and see how our players are doing. Uh, I know, all I know. Is as he's finally leaving Chelsea after going on loan for several times, several seasons. Yeah, he has signed for Torino for uh, 10, 10 million pounds, pounds from Chelsea, and um, Torino actually took the option to sign him after after a successful uh, one year season on loan. Uh, do you think uh, he has made the best choice, right? Choice? Yeah, he, he has made the best move for his career. He has made the best move for his career because staying at Chelsea will stall his growth. So, because, please, who is he going to bench in Chelsea now? I don't think anybody can, he can bench in Chelsea. Is it Giroud that wants to bench? Uh, so, I think he is a, he's a good move to, to go to uh, Torino to kickstart it. To, anyway, he has started he's in Torino. To, con to continue to continue develop in, yes, in, in Later Torino. on, he could move back to the Premiership. Yes, he could move back. Then, okay, well, we have another of our players, the Chelsea players, who is doing <laughs> well. In uh, yeah. in Spain, Chelsea and, uh, Chelsea and Loans. Kenneth Romero. You know, Chelsea has I think I come to the record. Chelsea has they have one of the largest number of players, players on, on loan. loan. Yes, they have different players on loan. Yes, almost. So on maybe that's where this uh, transfer ban might not really be that affect them. Then. Okay, they could easily call. Then for Romero, uh, in one of his reports, he said he was tired of being uh, of being on loan. On loan. loan. Mm -hmm. Today is on loan in in, in uh, Turkey. Next tomorrow is in, mm, uh, in uh, Spain. Spain. So it's never, so I think it's a good point to just find a permanent club. But now I think Chelsea and uh, his club are finding it difficult to arrive at, uh, at, 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 the, at, at, at the price. Uh -huh. And of course, Villarreal and uh, Gattafi are still on the, on the queue too, waiting to sign him. I think she just goes to Villarreal. Okay. If, if, if she just goes to Villarreal, that would be that. Anyway, he, he knows what is best for him. He's an adult. Okay. So let's quickly look at two more uh, transfer rumor. We have uh, uh, that we have the news that Valencia has rejected a bumper deal for Guidis from Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea Chelsea is busy looking for a replacement for Eden Hazard, and they they bid yeah. for Guidis. They bid at uh, 62.5 million pounds. How much does Chelsea want? Uh, Val uh, Valencia wants. Sorry, Valencia wants. Uh, there's, a, there's a release clause in oh. his contract of uh, uh, 267 million pounds. <laughs> 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 267 million pounds, but Chelsea is bidding 62.5 million. Uh, let, they, let Chelsea and play the 200. They should play the 200 like uh, like uh, PSG did for Neymar. Okay. They have a rich. No, uh, goodies. Uh, goodies is a good player. He can play along the, the three. The three position in the front, but he's not a player that you can spend as such big. Uh, so money. If, uh, if, it, if you really need a player, you, sh you should go for it all out. So they should spend the money. And, uh, okay, that uh, finally from the transfer front, we have Atletico Madrid attacker uh, Anton Gr uh, Griezmann saying he doesn't even know where he's going yet. He will know where he's going to. Uh, the, he knows he's just trying to be diplomatic about it, he doesn't to open the expose his. Uh, okay, where plan. do you think he's going to? He's, he's still going to land at Barcelona. Barcelona, are you sure? Let me say, I'm seventy percent sure that the girl will play for Barcelona the next season. Really? Yes. Okay. He has a better chance of winning the Champions League with Barcelona. Uh, but nah. but is Barcelona still have to, still uh, interested in it? They're still interested in it. They're still interested in it. Okay. But now it now depends on uh, the uh, Diego Simone. You know, he, he loves his players, but he, no, he, of course, it's, it's certain that he's good. He's leaving this mm. season. He's leaving. And Diego but Simone where he will be going to? Uh, Manchester United are interested. 
And Liverpool are interested. He wants to go to, I can't go to my, he needs Champions League football. It's a team that could win continental trophy that has the potential to do yeah, that. And he has won Europa before. I think yes, he has won Madrid, so he doesn't need any Europa League. Okay, now let's just look, uh, let's, let me read out the last comment from our viewer. Um, Baban Amira Zanginawa, he said, it's okay, I don't watch football, but I wish you people all the best. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for staying with us. I think we will have to draw the curtain right now. Yeah. Um, thank you for staying with us. We will we we'll be back next week, Wednesday. Uh, at that time, this, the, the uh, African Cup of Nations will be just this beside, beside the corner and we'll be able to discuss more about the, the trans, teams, uh, the chances and, uh, and how our team will go. Thank you very much for staying with us. From me and um, Gideon Lushola. Bye.